Hi guys, welcome back to the channel and to Catworld. And you're joining us now um, just as Snow has gained another Silent level. So let's pop on into there and have a little look-see. Now we do have the Ice Shield, which is there. And then we got the Ice Spike. So now we've got a choice of the Ice Crystal, which will create a node of psychic energy in the form of a crystal sapping the heat from the room. Hmm. Or a frost ray. Push forth a concentrated stream of psychic en entropy for a few seconds, rapidly inducing cuts in the hypothermia. Oh, that one sounds okay to me. I think we're going to go for that one. <laughs> snow is definitely snowy. Right, you mate. Hey. Eh? A little bit of a chill boy. <laughs> Do we have a growth moment for Quirky? This is what we've been waiting for. Ooh, Quirky is now old enough to do the following work. Firefight, handle, cook, hunt, grow, mine. Plat, 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 cut, tailor, craft, and fish. Choose one skill for Quirky to increase his passion for. Ooh. Medical sounds interesting, even though we do have medical, but yeah, okay. And choose a trait for Quirky to gain. Kind, body purist, or psychopath. Ah. Quirky is an exceptional, agreeable, and giving person. He rarely insults others and will sometimes offer kind words. I think we should go for that one. Awesome sauce. So now, guys, if we go down here with a little quirky. And we go into there. Oh, my goodness. Other one to firefight, bed rest, hall on to three. Basic down to two. Um, we are going to get them a little bit of cooking experience. We'll put them onto the butcher only. And over here, onto mine. Ah. But don't forget, we also have somewhere in our stores. If I can find it. Where is it? Where is it? There it is. <gasps> quirky, quirky. Please use the skill trainer to learn mining. So currently, their mining is on zero. So let's see what happens. Quirky. Can you please stop reading your book and go and use the skill trainer, please? 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 Thank you. Good. Mining level five. Wow. Look at that. Straight up to level five. So I'm now under there. Uh, mining, mining, mining. You are going to be brilliant and you are going to be our little miner. We already have some stuff down here for them to mine. And other stuff and things all about already marked for mining. Yes, guys, we have a miner at bloody last. Now we can crack on and get lots of things done. And the next thing to do is obviously, um, yeah, sort out this bloody storage. And we have had a quest pop up called the Impressive Assembly. Okay. The Countess Oristica Stachius of the Exodus Imperium is in quest requesting that you build a monument to honour her nephew. Look, dude, I'm not doing any bloody monuments because they're a pain in the arse. And especially not for this rubbish. So that's uh, a no from me. Thank you very much. Um, in other news, we have finished our, which will be our freezer. This is going to be like a butcher room. Uh, we have a bit of a kitchen just in this area and the rest of like dining room rec room area um we're a bit run down on the blocks at the moment so i'm going to do the like the rec room area in the wood just give it a different tone of flooring but i will expand the kitchen i think we should cancel it off from cancel the wood off from there and there is that going to give us a big enough kitchen maybe two more and then we'll do this in a oh i don't know what should we do what should we do a weave like a marble weave that would look quite nice put that in there we've got the freezer butcher room kitchen area here 
and then the rec room there once it's all built then we will expand into here fill some more wind turbines maybe a couple of at the back solar panels oh but now we've got that steel coming in we can build actually build our freezers and our coolers uh yeah we've got a lot to do guys a lot to do so uh, let's get cracking and it's all kicking off we have a cold snap um which is not gonna be very good for our plants at all and some of our colonists might get a little bit cold and the shuttle has arrived for gonzalo who was our prisoner and the shuttle should be over here so if we do auto load uh we could set off binks to go and load it actually prioritize eluding that shuttle mr binks Right, okay. Let us send it off. Uh, quest completed. Ooh. Quest completed. Set that off. And pods have arrived. Come to location. So we need this hauling absolutely urgently. And this one is a gene pack pill, which we didn't really want, but we can sell it on. That's not a problem. Uh, you're doing that snow. Uh, prioritize, please. And uh, also prioritize that. That would be awesome. But this book is going to be uh, Dungan's Investigator Entertainment. So that is going to help Yeti out quite a lot. And maybe we can get Quirky to do a little bit of that reading as well. But yeah, we we desperately need a trader, guys. Um, How are we doing? Okay, if a trader hasn't come by the next raid, just after the raid, we're going to kick off and probably send Yeti and Quirky out on a trade for a few days get rid of some of this bloody stuff because it's uh oh my god it's we're getting full and full and full right i don't understand this one the empire caught wind that i've been trading ltex behind their back they consider it to be against imperial law well i know this that's why i don't sell ltex behind their back i haven't sold any ltex to anybody i didn't have any ltex yes i did oh my god i had a mask I haven't sold it. Have I sold it? Smoke grenades. <laughs> oh. It was an Altex mask, wasn't there? Oops. <laughs> the joys of fibro brain. Oops. Oh dear. <laughs> Hang up, Bob, sort of cabbages. <laughs> yes. Because guess what? Our plants have just bloody died on us so these cabbages are going to come in very very useful indeed oh my goodness and they're just they're not too far away either what also we need to do is put in here flower uh click on that and because we've got all our storage is full of bloody flower now oh dear me flower no <laughs> turn that off there we go what's there rice okay we need some more storage containers um so we've got flour that one should be enough but what we'll do is build another one into there and uh this can be like for our raw ingredients at that side and then we'll have some like trays not trays shelves for the meat let's get us a bit more organized in this area here and then we can start moving uh, things across once we've got all our lighting and everything in but yeah cabbages oh quest available hospitality for nobles i thought it said noodles nobles to accept this quest you need a free bedroom that satisfies the tag requirements of acolyte well i don't so uh no <laughs> i can't do it another one oh that's an impressive assembly that's going to expire and that's fine that's totally fine no we don't have a bedroom that's uh, big enough for bloody nobles so bugger off all righty we are a little bit organized in this corner we still need to have our things built and some light things you know what i mean uh freezer coolers them things yeah we've got that eventually uh we've got the cabbages in the milk that one's for eggies got all the flour and the rice and now we have little meat hooks 
So let's see if we can get Quirky to come and do some butchering. We have very, very hungry pet, uh, pet animals. And I can see there's no kibble at all. So if we can get Quirky to come and do some work on the butcher table, hopefully it will get their cooking skills up. And this is the easiest way, rather than risking them actually cook meals, and getting food poisoning you can skill them up by using the butcher's table so that's what we're going to do with uh, quirky we've taken everybody else off using the butcher table and making kibble this is little quirky's job now and hopefully we're going to get those four animals in the pens fed very very quickly well done quirky good job there mate And as you've probably noticed from the right hand side that Snow has got yet another Silent level. So in this time, instead of going up any further, what we're going to do is um, upgrade our Psycast, uh, which is going to be a lot better for him. Get a bit more power on everything. So our next one, if we wanted to do so, we could go to Cold Zone, we could do Ice Blocks and Snap Freezes. I think our top one that we're aiming for eventually is a Blizzard and that'll be absolutely brilliant but for now we're just going to continue and bung some into the power uh focus types yeah he's on artistic oh. we've got that right and he's doing well oh shoot we are in huge trouble a raid and they've spawned right in the bloody base oh my crikey uh we're gonna have to like just come out here Make sure Quirk is at the back and uh, hope for the best. Are you going to pop out? Oh, here they come. Here they come. Here they come. Here they come. Okay. Um. Oh my goodness. The cats are going to get... <laughs> what is that name? Wop... What? Wopoinkag. Okay. Uh, and there's another bishop there, look. That's funny because we had a we have a bishop put a vampire at the moment. Snow and Quirky. Go there. Thanks. Go there. Come out there, kitty cat. Right. Snow and Binks. Sneak up. Not Snow and Binks. Sneak up, boys. Sneak up while that door's open. And then... Oh my god. The cats are gonna get it. Get them, boys! Yeti, can you open that door and come back? Come back out! Yeti, come back out! <laughs> get him down, get him down. There's one left. Get back in. Get him down. Oh my god, oh my god, oh my god. That was close, that was close. Right, everybody off draft. I was panicking a bit there, sorry guys. Oh, little kitty cat. Oh my god, are you okay? Uh, Snow, quick. Oh, Binks is getting it. Oh no, not the cats, not the cats. Anybody but, but the cats. Toxic build-up initial, scratch. No immediate danger. Okay, Yeti, how are you doing? Rag grenade, shredded. Left leg. Death in 15 hours? No! Get in a bloody thing, dude. Go on, get to bed. Uh, Binks, Binks, Binks. Sort him out, love. Sort him out. We can't lose anybody. Oh my goodness, that was scary. Right in the base. How dare they? Binks, come on, dude. Oh my goodness. And as soon as Yeti is able to, he should be okay. He should be okay. It's just a crack. His left leg shredded. No! <laughs> we need to get him a new leg. <laughs> Torso shredded. Oh no. <laughs> he's going to survive, but he's now a very poorly boy. Mm. Let's hope we can do something. Now we just had that raid, so we have to be thinking about... Uh... Oh my god, look at this place. I'm just going to... Pause it for a minute. We shouldn't get one straight away. We need to get rid of this stuff. We need to get rid of it. And my plan 
the sending yeti and quirky out has gone up the bloody spout and i can't really leave the base with just two we need we need we need we need a trader to come we really do okie dokie we have a new quest available selling to dinosaurs city a nearby settlement dinosaur city has a special trade quest they would like to purchase 11 shoes of normal plus quality 11 shoes if you want to make the trade send a caravan with the craft speedy joints speedy except for let me have a look at speedy first Make the con artist go and incapable of violent and firefighting no thanks <laughs> that's uh that's that one but poor old yeti oh no he's not gonna last much longer with a shredded torso guys the leg you know we could have replaced but a shredded torso Ooh, that's not good my friend where are you he's still working away bless him but you know oh dear <laughs> oh no I'm off that in other news we have our freezer finished our butchery room finished i've moved the medical into here because we're going to start disassembling or destructing all this down now and we've now got the chest table up here and a sofa we've got a dining table being built here in steel on top of a rug we've got um the little school area there i've moved quirky in i'm in the process of moving quirky in with yeti down here uh, we want another actually that can go over there now like a side table and that can be moved closer to here like that uh, yeah so yeti quirky's going to move in with yeti and keep an eye on him for now we're going to start destructing all of this um apart from this part here obviously because we need the room for binks and snow but everything else is going to get destructed for now working on building out the thickness of the wall if you look here we do have the roof coming over for three which will cause a nice little fire break for us is that three that's only two that wants to come out one more one two three there we go which will cause a not cause it'll give us a nice fire break so this wants to come out a little bit more like that not quite as much yet because it will collapse and we need to get another wall thickness in eventually we will get it all the way around at three thickness eventually but yeah we want to be tidying up a little bit and being a bit more organized uh we're running out of got plenty of rice rice is no problem we're just waiting for the other crops to grow so yeah that is where we are at the moment let's hope we can just keep things ticking along nicely okay we have some very very good news and i hold my hands up and i promised you i did not cheat or anything but yeti is actually fully fully healed there we go i don't know how the hell he managed to heal himself from a shredded torso and leg but he did so we are going to because we've just had that red i'm gonna I'm going to risk it for a biscuit and send out um, send out a trade and our nearest guys are down here so if we form a caravan from there to there travel time 1.11 days uh, and we'll just bridge yes so I'm going to accept that um not snow no no we're gonna send quirky and yeti out none of the animals items oh my god look at all this stuff give me a minute to sort it out guys okay in order to carry all that stuff i'm gonna have to send the yaks even though one of our yaks is pregnant uh to carry it all and we've got all the bird skins and leathers and everything on there and uh, yeah a couple of other bits and pieces and some travel supplies so yeah yeti and quirky off you go your caravan only has two projects if you become hungry 
uh, you're just gonna have to because we don't have a lot of food. You're just gonna have to go, guys, and uh, good luck out there, and be very careful, and uh, oh, let's hope things work out okay if we don't lose him because we've just got him back. Fingers crossed, guys. And as you can see here, Yeti and Quirky are loading up. It's going to take them a little while to load those poor yaks up. With all that stuff. Oh, the cat's helping. <laughs> Come on, cats. Load it all up. Load it all up. Clear it all out. We need to get rid of the whole bloody lot of it. Oh, my goodness me, guys. So while we watch the cats and Quirky and yeti load up the yaks ready for the trip we're gonna say goodbye for today's episode <laughs> thanks again guys for watching and for commenting and liking if you possibly can that'd be totally totally awesome it really really does help with the youtube algorithm thank you to all the new subscribers as well this month it's been absolutely amazing welcome aboard welcome aboard and uh, tomorrow we'll have another episode our second episode of blood world where a bishop our vampire is uh, doing a rags to riches naked brutality in the burial forest in rim world um and then wednesdays it's mistress of beasts in conan and i've got something else planned a fourth video as well but i'm not going to do, be doing any more than four videos a week guys because i want to get a couple of streams in if i can at least one stream a week in so again guys thanks ever so much for watching and we'll see you in next week's episode and keep our fingers crossed that yeti and quirky return safely from their little trip bye for now guys take care